Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Jared at Three Seas Recreation. Today we're putting plastics and graphics on a bike. This is a 2020 390 RS. This bike originally came with a full set of white plastics and graphics, and the customer wants the bike to look like a 2022 and newer. So what we're gonna do is we bought 2022 plastics and graphics, and we're throwing them on. I've got pretty much the whole plastic kit or graphics on, but I thought I would show you guys how I do graphics here at the shop. So. I've got one left. I always leave the trickiest one, maybe so you guys can see at home how I do it. I've done a ton of beta graphics over the years, probably hundreds and hundreds of sets since 2012. So um, it's really simple. I don't do anything uh, too fancy or crazy. So I want to take the seat off first, just so I can get in here a little bit better. And we've got the little one behind here. This will be the little one that we install second here on the top. But the first thing I always do with new plastics is I torch. I torch the plastic. So we want to get the mold release off of this so whenever whenever this is made they've got some kind of uh, film or fluid on here and it's kind of slippery if you were to play with it and the decal isn't going to stick very well for very long so i like to take a torch and i just flash it so if you come in braxton at the side right here maybe you guys can actually see what i'm burning off let me get this off the top here try to make it a little bit brighter so i'm going to hit it with a torch maybe you'll see the the flash here so you can kind of see it burning off right there. So that's really simple. That's my prep when I'm doing decals. I'm not a big fan of like soapy water. I don't think that helps at all. I think that just makes a mess behind it and then it never dries. So I just put decals on dry and, and you can actually like, if you got it wrong, you can usually peel it off once or twice and, and I have an issue with it. So I like to line it up kind of get a feel for what you're doing. And I always start at the bottom right here. So what I'm gonna do first is peel the, the backing from here down. So I'll flip it over. And on the on the front side, there is like a, a protective wrap. And I try to leave that on until the end because then I can press around on the decal without like smearing it. So, so now we got the backing off on the bottom portion there. I'm gonna bring this in. I'm gonna line up the top exactly where I want it. So. You can kind of see like that's like a perfect angle there coming around. You can kind of manipulate the graphic as it goes toward the back. So we're just going to kind of lay it there. Now the pressure is on with the camera. Da -da -da. We're just going to lay it right here. And so now I've got the sticky part coming down. I'm going to kind of push down my fingers. And like I said, it's got that outer wrap on there right now. So I can kind of push around. It's not going to leave a swirl mark on the graphic. So. Right now, the graphic's actually stuck to the bike because of the lower portion. I can flip it over. I'm gonna peel back to like right here, all the way around, to like right here. And you usually wanna peel these off like straight, so that way I can, I can, I'll show you in a second, I can bend it back over and get those off. So, see how you can kind of peel it off once. So, we're gonna do that. Get her lined up. And we're gonna go to the top. We're gonna to start to go down this way with it. And we wanna keep our lines. We wanna kind of look at where we're aiming with this decal. So we're going right where we wanna be. I'll get the front pushed down all the way now that we're good. And right about here somewhere is kind of where I had sliced it. So now we'll roll it over. I never peel the whole thing at once because then if I'm doing it by myself here in the video, um, the back of the decal, if I had peeled the whole thing, it'd be slapping against the tank and sticking to it, and that's not helpful. So now we are fully peeled, and I'm going to kind of aim for my back here. Get it right where we want it. Lay it right down this channel. And like I said, you got you have a little bit of work you can do. You know, at this point, this wrapper's probably hurting me more than it's helping, so get that out of the way. And now we're going to take the top, we'll lay the top in here as well. Come right in. Kind of manipulate the graphic as you come down. The bottoms of these do kind of hang over the bottom of this. This isn't, this isn't off, it's just like, we'll take a heat gun here in a minute. So this graphic is pretty much all the way on. So what we'll do now, now that every graphic, ooh, I got the last top one. So we'll do that here in a second. I don't want to bore you guys with it. It's a pretty simple peel and stick. So now that all the graphics are on, I didn't use any 
soap, any water, anything behind here. I'm just gonna take a heat gun. We're just gonna casually go over it, keep the heat gun quite a ways away. But we wanna activate that glue. And that heat gun is gonna help me bend this around this little corner and get it to really stick good like we want it to. So really quick video. I do a ton of graphics here at the shop. We just turned the 2020 model into a 2022. So thanks for watching.